A lot of my ideas start on the stage. So years ago, I heard Little Ghetto Boy for the first time, and I was very moved by the, the message in the song. And I couldn't get away from this idea that I wanted to create a duet version together with Chris Robb. I particularly selected Chris Robb. Um, he's my primary keyboard player, but he's also an artist in his own right and a very talented writer and, and singer. And I just had this intense, strong idea for a duet. And he and I worked out an arrangement together of a duet version of the song that we've done at shows. And when working on the CD, again, I was just thinking I couldn't get away from the importance of the message in Little Ghetto Boy and how I wanted that message to be on my CD. And also how I really wanted to feature Chris Robb in a way that I don't hear him often on recordings. So when we recorded for all the other songs, we also recorded Little Ghetto Boy. And um, I'm really proud of, of what we've done with that arrangement. Uh, and yeah, I, I handpicked Chris Robb for that and I'm excited. For me, there's a couple of standout books for me personally. Uh, as an artist and a spiritual person um, that like, believes in music as something greater than just entertainment, Bob Marley's biography, Catch a Fire, was and is an incredible book. Um, it kind of gives you so much insight into the struggle of his journey and what it took to be a Bob Marley. And uh, what, what he was fending with and the fact that he was one of the first independent artists and he started his own label just to get his music out. That book is incredible. If you're an artist and you want to know a little bit about like how, how did an icon get to where he, he did and what he went through, Catch a Fire. And for me as an activist and as a person that's very interested in, in the community, a book called Manchild in the Promised Land by Claude Brown. Um, it's just a really important book and has inspired my songs and uh, speaks to a lot of the grind of, uh, you know, what the black man in America deals with and, and kind of getting, how do you take the hustle mentality and incorporate it into being a leader and reinventing yourself. Manchild in the Promised Land was very inspiring to me. If I had a mic and the whole world was listening, I would say, listen to me. You have something incredible to offer the world around you, and you may or may not realize it. And I want you to take a moment to reflect on the fact that you have more power than you've utilized yet and then you have expressed. And to think about that power and how you can use it to affect change in your own life and the lives of the people around you in a positive way. You know, own your power. Stop denying your power and your strength. And, and just go for it, man. Do something incredible with your walk.